Hi friends, Miss Emily here. I hope you all are having a fantastic Sunday and I can't wait to share this week's Bible story. So today we're going to be in a Matthew 13. So let's get out our Bibles and get into this one. Now we are going to dive in into some kingdom parables. So first off, what's a parable? Well, I'll tell you. A parable is a short story where it teaches you a lesson about spirituality, morality. What are those fancy words? Basically, long story short, a parable is a story that teaches you a lesson about life and how to live it. Now, in the Bible, Jesus says and tells parables to his disciples and to uh, the people all over the world to teach them how to live their lives, right? To teach them how to follow God and follow Christ and his word. And that's basically what it is. So there are several kingdom parables in the Bible, maybe a lot. And let's get into some today. So one day Jesus went out and sat by the sea. Many people came to hear him teach. So Jesus got into a boat and sat down. The people stood on the shore and Jesus told them parables. Remember that word or stories to teach them about God's kingdom. Now, Jesus's disciples asked him, why do you tell stories to teach? Jesus said, not everyone will understand what is true about God's kingdom. In the Old Testament, the prophet Isaiah said, some people look, but they do not see. They hear, but they do not listen or understand. Through Jesus, Isaiah's words came true. Jesus told the disciples, you are blessed because you understand. So we can physically hear a sound, but sometimes we don't know what that sound means or what it is. So that's basically what understanding is. You can hear someone tell you a story or a lesson, but do you truly know what that lesson's about? Do you truly know what that lesson means? So that's what understanding is. Then Jesus told a parable. He said, God's kingdom is like a mustard seed that a man planted in his field. It is the smallest seed. A mustard seed is so tiny, but it grows taller than the garden plants. The seed becomes a tree and the birds build nests in the tree's branches. Then Jesus said, God's kingdom is like leaven or yeast which is an ingredient used to make bread, that a woman mixed into flour. The leaven makes the dough rise. Jesus told another parable. God's kingdom is like a treasure buried in a field. A man found the treasure and buried it again. Then he joyfully sold everything he had and bought that field. Then Jesus said, God's kingdom is like a man looking for beautiful pearls. When he found one very valuable pearl, he sold everything he had and bought it. When Je Jesus finished teaching the crowds, he left that place and went to his hometown. So God's kingdom is growing in this world. His kingdom is valuable and worth giving everything for. Like the parable that Jesus talked about, you know, the man looking for beautiful pearls. Once he found one, he sold everything that he had and he bought it. In a way, we give up things of this world to follow God, to follow Jesus. While we wait for Jesus to come back and set up his kingdom, we obey him. We tell others about King Jesus who rescues sinners. And that, my friends, are just a couple of kingdom parables that Jesus taught to the people. 
I hope you learned a little something today and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your Sunday. I'll see you next week.